another week of scrapbooking. Now, this video is, especially if you're new to my channel, okay, um, what I do is a video and I leave all the bits in. So I speed up the video and then you get to see the whole process. I I don't like editing the daylights out of it because I want you guys to see exactly what goes into one of my pages. Now, that said, what am I scrapbooking? I, I, we, we, a lot of Aussies, we don't really celebrate Halloween. Um, but I love the colours, the oranges and purples just, oh, I love them. So what I decided to do was, seeing as my kids don't dress up and sort of get into the Halloween thing, I asked them to play on my phone, on my Snapchat, and use the filters and take some Halloween type photos. So that's what they did. Hence, I have some Halloween photos that I can actually use in October. Now, this idea I actually had ages ago and I just needed to wait for an occasion where I had a lot of photos all on the same theme or the same event or something like that. Now, something that you guys probably don't really know about me is I also like to make mini albums. I love getting, doing the intricate stuff. Um, so, and that being said, in my mini albums, I, I make mine completely from scratch. I don't do them on YouTube because, to be honest, I don't know how you would edit. I wouldn't be able to do it the way I do my scrapbooking pages. And I'm really more into my pages at the moment. So, what I decided to do was I wanted to make a one-page layout use nine photos and still journal and this is what I came up with. I specifically bought this piece of paper and it's Simple Stories Vintage Boo to You. What is it? No, Simple Stories Simple Vintage October 31st Boo to You is one of the papers. And the other paper, which I'm cutting up here using the tags, is Simple Story Spooky Nights Tags. That's one sheet. So I've just cut that down so I've got all my tags. Now, when I had the idea in my head, I didn't think of using tags. But the longer I sort of marinated on the idea, when I jumped online and bought these few sheets of Halloween paper because I don't buy whole packs because I do one or two pages if I can get some photos of my kids for Halloween um, because as I said we don't really celebrate it. Now that being said this is where things get super exciting. So what I'm using here how good does that look? It looks even better in fast forward. I actually was trying to get the streaks going all different directions. That's what I was trying to do. So even though it looks like a big mess, that is actually Ranger's Glitter Gel. And I ended up using Nebula on the back, on the background. Because it's got stars in it and it's glittery and shiny. So I wanted to use a black background. So I put that to the side. That's why I did that first. Now normally... When I do a page, you don't see my pens for ages yet. However, what I'm actually doing with this page, I really needed to do all the writing on these tags, all the filling in the holes, all that sort of stuff had to be done first. So I'm kind of, I kind of messed with my own head. I really have to had to stop and think about how I was going to put this back together and so what I'm essentially creating is each tag ends up being a, a flip flap 
a t it's kind of like a tip-in. If you are a journaler, you would probably know what a tip-in is. It's like it's like one of those. So, but what I've managed to do with it is I've actually hidden all of the the hinge, so to speak. So here I'm trying to use um, the Moon Dust Glitter Gel from Ranger, but it was just a little bit too gritty to get it to sit on there nicely. So I went to my, my stickles and I ended up pulling out uh, Diamond. So that's what I'm using here on the little ghosty. I loved how these were super simple and for anyone that's been around long enough yes I know I need to buy another bottle of diamond and I keep forgetting to do it hence why I have to keep shoving my art glitter glue pin in in the end of it because it keeps getting blocked up there's so much air in it and it's like right at the end of the bottle on that tag I added some liquid pearls by Ranger. I used white pearl and I added it onto there. Now on my little skeleton guy, I this is just my way of adding texture to the page by the way. I'm just adding texture, making things appear. I love a bit of shine and glitter as if that wasn't obvious at the beginning. And I, I love to like it's not hard for me to um, all I'm doing really is tracing over the skeleton but once I do it he looks sort of 3D and opal oh he's cute as um now I end up using my Nuvo what do I call it let me see it's called Nuvo Crystal Drops and there it's in the ebony black colour now here I'm stro I struggled on that tag because I really wanted to use my glitter and make the spider webs really pop, but I've put it to the side because I'm still thinking whether I'm going to do that or not. Now this is my black Posca, uh, yeah, my black Posca paint pen, and it's a, a 0.7 millimeter one, and all I'm doing is going around the existing so I've cut it I've done the cutter parts right and I've done cut out all the tags all the work is done for me basically so all I'm doing is going through and adding some highlight blackening up the black a little bit more because the simple story is vintage it was a little bit sort of washed out in the black and that's totally fine that's that was exactly what drew me to the collection I loved it for that very reason now the reason I'm going over it is because I just looked at it and I felt like I needed it to be a little bit more of a deeper black so I just went over them it's no big deal it wasn't hard it took a little bit of time but hey it's a long weekend here in Queensland so I decided it doesn't really matter I'm gonna do it so now my pumpkin the green was really throwing me off I I was struggling with the green but luckily the snapchat photos actually had a bit of green in them as well so it it, it worked but I don't normally work with that green so what I decided to do with the spider webs, I pulled out my Creative Memory Silver pen that I've had for oodles and oodles and oodles of time. And all I'm doing is I'm running the silver pen on the cobweb, but only slightly off the line of it, if that makes sense. So you can still see the black perfectly and it's got like a silver shadow to it and I was really happy with that that worked really really well I did another Halloween um, layout and that's already up it's the video that's up straight before this one and I used a lot of glitter and it looked so cool 
And I think that's where I was leaning towards with the cobwebs. That's what I was thinking of doing the same thing. But who wants two pages in their album to look exactly the same unless they go together? So, all right. So here's my brain ticking. This is what I wanted to do. It's in my head. This is, I'm just sort of figuring it out. And I just drew a line. I'm using my T-square ruler to make sure that they're straight. And now I do something that is, actually, I didn't even check to see if I cut through my, I didn't, wow. So I just grabbed my steel ruler and my X-Acto knife and I just ran it straight down the page. Yes, I cut big slits all the way down my page. That's what I did and it totally works. So I think I'll show you here in a minute, I think, I'm pretty sure I think I do. Uh, oh, first of all, I realised that I hate measuring things. I like to just put it up against something and go, yep, chop. That's how I like to do things. Sometimes I have to, like this page, I didn't measure anything. When I cut those lines, I didn't measure it. All I did was put the four, four tags across. And, oh, there's my art glitter glue. Oh, if you've never tried it, honestly, you need to give it a go. And if you want to try just a small bottle, um, you can jump on the Crazy Craft Obsessions store. And I know they've got the small bottles at the moment. And you will not, you will not be disappointed. This stuff is thebomb.com honestly it really is it bites quickly though so when you make a mistake and then you realize and you have to pull it up really quickly you got to do that super quick so can you see what I'm doing I'm tucking the hinge in and I'm sliding it into the slot and I'm gluing it so the glue is on the back of this black sheet so I just push it in there and I'm just using my T-square ruler to make sure that they're pretty straight going across. And then I realized, yep, so there we go. I just had to shorten that one off a little bit. And now I have all my hinges. So can you see all the slots and you can see all the, see the big slots on the back? Now, this is called extreme tear tape. Okay, I know it's extreme. It's ridiculous. And I would never use that much on a normal one. But I know the front of this is going to be a little bit weighty once I put the photos and everything on the top. Hence why I used heaps of tape on the back. Now, I haven't actually glued it on yet because you never know with me. I think and I, I try and think a couple of steps in front. But occasionally I go, ah, if I didn't glue that down yet, I could have done blah, blah, fill in the blank, right? So this is what I'm, so I'm putting the tags in. Now, I tried to do, I've seen it through so, so many other videos and I love them, okay? I was watching a video the other day, uh, I can't remember who it was, but anyway, she did a beautiful like, I mean, beautiful bow on the top of her tag with some baker's twine. Do you want to know what my nemesis is in a craft room? I can do 99.9% .9 of things, right? But getting a bow to sit perfectly on top of my tag like she did, I, I can't do it. I... Can't, I it is something that I need to practice and I need to do more of because I love the look of that neat little bow, but I just, it didn't work. It didn't look right. So here I am. I'm going to go along and I'm gluing down my tags. So these now essentially turn into little doors. So my 12 by 12 inch page, I've squeezed on there. 12 tags that were all on one sheet to start with. So 
So as busy as this looks and as technical as this looks, trust me, anyone can do this. It's so simple. Now, this is where I grab my Teflon bone folder and I just, I'm just rubbing on the hinges to make sure that they are down properly. And I'm also burnishing my, my tape on the back to make sure there's no air pockets in it because that's what will let go down the track. Now, now you can see I've glued the black onto the orange background paper. So you now cannot see any of the hinges on the back. It looks perfect. On the front, the only way you can see the hinges, they're all hidden hinges, except obviously they're black, so you can see them on the tag. Um, now what I've done is I've gone through and I've cut all my photos to fit behind the, behind the tag itself. And then I, <laughs> sorry, that photo cracks me up. And I just put those periodically behind different windows. Or doors whichever whatever you'd like to call it now I did turn off the camera I went and had dinner come back and I was fussy cutting some bits and pieces and realized I didn't press record so I all all that is I used a six by six paper pad and it's the Echo Park um, Halloween magic paper pad and there was a few things in there that I was able to pull out and fussy cut the pumpkins etc and a bat and whatnot I didn't really have a f any specific spot I wanted to put anything I just wanted to cover up the back of the tags with some little bits and pieces here and there a bit of pen work just to sort of do that then I what I did do is I made the decision early on that I would do all my journaling down one strip of tags. So not that I really had much to say about it. It was just more or less, you know, we don't celebrate Halloween. However, the kids were good enough, kind enough to their mother. And they played on Snapchat for a little bit and saved the photos for me, which was really nice. So... Now what I'm doing is I didn't have enough stuff to put behind this tag. So I just cut, used one of the others as a template and cut the background and just glued that one on the back. And that was perfect. Worked. Not a treat. That cat, I kept auditioning it in different places, but I didn't use the kitty cat. So yes. So it's coming along nicely. I'm, I'm really loving how it's looking. And what else can I tell you? I am in the process of finalizing the giveaway that I'm going to have. And I'm going to have a competition. And the prize is going to be, and I just have to confirm this with the shop owner, um, with Cass, I'm and Jacques, they are the owners of, um, I nearly said, I nearly said the wrong shop then, that is so funny, can you tell it's getting late, Crazy Craft Obsessions is what I was trying to get out of my mouth, and I nearly fumbled over another store, now, I'm just finalising some bits and pieces, I would love, I know Purely by looking at the behind the scenes data. I know there's quite a few people on here that are coming back and watching my channel, but they haven't subscribed. I would love it if you clicked that subscribe button because one, it lets the algorithm know that you want to come back to this kind of content. Two, it really helps my channel get shared onto other people so that they can maybe they would like to see it as well if you hit the like button that also helps me out and most of all if you leave a comment below that helps me out as well now I don't do this for money I do this for the love of the craft and 
to be honest with you, I absolutely love every minute of what I'm doing. I, I really, truly do. And I hope a lot of people have, a lot of people have let me know what they've learnt, what they, they've never seen certain things before. And the longer I do this, the more I realise I still have so much to offer. So I would love it if you subscribed below. And as soon as I hit 800 subscribers, that's when I'm going to drop the hammer and say, let's go on a giveaway. So, and it's an awesome giveaway because it, it isn't something that I've picked out. It's something you can pick out. So please, if you haven't already subscribed, please do that before you leave and maybe hit the like button and or leave me a comment where you're from. I love reading how I had people the other day, Minnesota and Ohio and where else? I actually do have a couple of people that are in Florida. So my heart goes out to them watching what's unfolding over there. Hurricane Ian has just, I know, I know the media, what you see on mainstream media is quite hit and miss, but what I've seen, oh, my heart bleeds for you guys. We, we don't get flooded where I am personally in my home, but there's a lot of people that get flooded around my town when we have flooding and we're looking at possible flooding this week as well, but it's not a hurricane. So I, my heart goes out to you guys that are in Florida and the surrounding areas that I think California as well is copping in a little bit. So I hope that everyone stays safe. And I hope my content can maybe put a smile on your face for five minutes. If you're one of those people that have unfortunately lost a lot. And my our thoughts are with you guys. I know we're in, I know we're down under, but trust me, as laid back as we are, nobody likes to see the decimation of an area, be it fire, be it water hurricane, tornado, whatever it may be. Okay, on a brighter note, I'm just adding some Velcro dots to my little flippy flaps. And here's my close-up, guys. So please like and subscribe if you have not already done so. As soon as I hit 800, I will release the information for the giveaway and I will get the ball rolling on that one. So... I hope you've enjoyed my channel, uh, my, my channel, my video, my channel, of course, but my video. And I am so glad. See the little Velcro dots? They just hold the little flip flap shut. And yeah, I don't even know what else I can say about it. It's just super cute, trick or treat. So it's a cute way of displaying different photos. And yeah, when I put this into my, um, my album I will just make sure that I have I'll just cut my sleeve so it attaches to um, and allows you to have the interactive side of it thanks for watching guys chat to you again soon bye